Zakia! Today I'm making biryani. The battle of the biryani will begin now! Will you or will you not award the knife to Zakia? No, I will not. I will not. Unfortunately, I will not. I probably made the wrong decision, but the journey is not ended and I will still fight. Time for the second cook-off for Hui. What is your main ingredient? Chicken. What does your husband say about this dish? Can eat. Can eat, huh? <laughs> <laughs> will you or will you not award Hui with the knife? Yes, I will. I will. Of course, I will. Hui has secured a place in the final showdown. This week, it's Rasati and Zakia against Chef Eric Chiu. Welcome to King of Culinary, the final showdown where home cooks spring more than surprise attacks on our celebrity chefs. My name is Hosan Leong and over the past two weeks, we have witnessed fun yet fiery cook-offs between our three finalists and two of our celebrity chefs. Let's welcome our three finalists. And our three chefs! Today, it will be the third and final cook-off between Chef Eric Teo and Zakia, as well as Brazati, who was the winner of Raja Kaya Vecha. And which finalist will face off Hui? Well, we'll have to find out. In the meantime, I want to say welcome to our judges and ask them a few questions. Now, Chef Petrina, yes. over the past two weeks, we have tried a few dishes. Which dish still is in your mind right now and you like want to have more? I think it would be Hui's chicken dish with the watermelon. Because the flavour combinations to me is very exotic. But yeah, it works together and then the sauces, two different sauces actually work very well. Mmm, Daniel. The flavours and the smells that have been happening in this studio, right? Every time you tasted anything, you close your eyes. Is there a, a reason? Uh, because I don't want to be distracted by anything else. I, because there's so much talking going around in the studio, I just want to focus on one thing, which is the food. Right. Which I think clo closing my eye helps. Yeah. Chef Heiko, do you think any of these dishes that are finalists could have a place on your menu? Uh, about the chicken and the watermelon. Mm. You know, I went back to the kitchen and we tried it. Hers is still the, you know, still, still over there. there yeah. Still on top, right? Yeah, she set yeah. the benchmark for that chicken and uh, watermelon dish. Wow, way. A lot of high praise for you. All right, and it's time to face the fire. Welcome, Chef Eric Teo, into you. our arena. How are Thank you feeling? You. Uh, shaky. Shaky, because yeah. look, you had two weeks sitting up there, watching the drama that unfolded yeah. here. I think so you kind of know what to expect, right? Actually, sitting down there for mm. the past two weeks uh, is more stress. Leh. Why? I think Bob shoot the first round is better. Now you see, he's so relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's time now, Chef Eric, for you yep. to decide who you want to face off first in this round. Would you like Zakia or Razati? Razati. Ooh. Razati! Come on down! Now, this is the start of the excitement because the main ingredient hasn't been revealed to any one of us, right? So only you know. So what is the main ingredient for your cook-off? My main ingredient is lamb. <laughs> it's lamb! Okay. Which part of the lamb? The shoulder. Huh? Shoulder? The shoulder, the lamb shoulder. shoulder. Okay. Well, let's see whether this is gonna give <laughs> Chef Eric the cold lamb shoulder <laughs> or not. You can go and Thank grab you. the ingredients. Let's go, Chef Eric Tio! Let's go, Chef! This is what she gave me during the cook-off with her. And I lost the challenge. How, how was the texture? Is it good? Uh, it's good, but this one has got fats because she gave it fats. Okay. I want to probably do a curry. I don't know, I've never tried that before, so... <laughs> Chef, yes, I got yes. all the spices there. Yeah. Oh, this is too big. I need some counter. This is a counter. <coughs> <Zone. coughs> yeah. Same. same. Chef, I think you stress. <laughs> it's the same! <laughs> 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 
Well, how come my eyes see that that's bigger? Anything missing? <laughs> no, okay. Aside from luck. Okay. No, I, I uh, we bring some luck. <laughs> Keep it simple. Yeah. Right? And then we'll just see what Rasati has on the sleeve. This is my first time I'm doing curry. And here we are, we're all ready to rock the kitchen. How are you? Nervous. Nervous? Pretty good nervous. Anyway, we are going to let you start cook off right now. Okay. But remember, there's always the element of... Surprise! Attack. So, Razati, time starts now! Here we go. Daniel, what are you yes. expecting from this second cook-off? I wonder why Rasati picked a uh, lamb shoulder. Yeah. It is one of the most overworked part of a lamb. So maybe she's trying to pull a trick on Chef Eric. Ah, Yo, a right. Trick. Okay. He only has 30 minutes, so I figured I could take every minute I need. <laughs> yeah. You've seen these before. Tomatino. Did you know it came with this? Tomatino. How come it comes with got, got, got. Off the vine, it has this already. Off yeah, the, it's off the vine? <laughs> What's the name of the tomato? Tomatillo. Tomatillo. So, you wash the tomato, you put it in the saucepan with the onions I'm and I'm going oil. to roast it. What's your inspiration for the lamb today? I am inspired by chefs who work very quickly. Mm -hmm. What I try to do is do things as quickly as possible, also because I'm lazy. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, when you said something very interesting to me earlier, you said that what you're going to cook mm -hmm. is something simple at home, but if you go to a restaurant and you see the same thing on the menu, you immediately order it. Is that yeah, um, I figure if I can make that at home, that's like underground luxury. Underground luxury. Underground laundry, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Lamb, you know, how are we going to make it tender? The okay. kiwi has enzymes that could break down the, the protein. There you go, I yeah. just learned something new today. It's from Bromlin, from yeah. Ah, I'm very impressed with her creativity, actually. Mm -hmm. Rasati, what do you put in the blender? What liquid was that? I have juice apple or... juice, orange juice, okay. sesame oil, sugar. And the kiwi. Wow. <laughs> For the final showdown, I decided to release a couple of flavors from the vegetables itself. I wanted to, to show people that there's another way to kind of extract flavor from a vegetable. Don't feel you cooking your lamb yet. I know. So, <laughs> are you waiting for chef to cook it? You want to go ahead on set no, no, at the no. same time? Eat her hey, head. she will cook with the bell, man, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you just put soy sauce in the orange juice? Yes. Something for breakfast tomorrow, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> mm. And I'm wondering the what orange Chef juice Eric is, is going, going to, to the lamb shoulder. Yeah, because all that will break down the, the protein. Taking out all the vegetables that were being roasted, what are you going to do with it? I am going to blend it. Blend it? Chef Eric, he's standing by. <laughs> I'm coming home! He's coming <laughs> home! Here we go! Eight, Woo! seven, six, Woo! five. Come on down, Woo! Chef Eric. Tio! Woo! Okay. All right. Chef Eric Tio is in the arena. He's going to start on his lamb. So you, from the cubes, you are actually cutting all the lamb into strips. Is there a reason? Uh, yeah. So it's uh, get tender faster. The parts she gave me. Mm -hmm. Wow. So he said you give, you give him all the bad parts. <laughs> The same parts. Ah, uh, she has the same parts. Okay, don't blame people. Fair, fair. Yeah. Are you marinating the lamb there? Chili, uh, brining it lah. I see mantel on the table, so I suspect the lamb is going inside the bread. Ah. But you never know because Chef Eric is very creative. Mm. Mm. <laughs> but you know, Chef Eric is known for his Western cuisine though. Uh, yes, actually today I brought my mom's recipe over to this uh, arena. Oh. Your mom's recipe? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, for lamb. Okay, mommy! <laughs> <laughs> so, Chef, what is your mom's recipe? Actually, it's a Hainanese lamb curry. Oh! oh. Yeah, that would be interesting. Oh, but, yeah. but lamb curry, you need a long time to cook. We just have to see what's, okay. what's coming. Rasati, don't ring the yeah, bell the... because it's not going to save you. <laughs> really? 20 seconds left, and then it's going to happen. Ring that bell. Stop, everyone. Everyone, turn off your stoves. You have rung the bell for the surprise attack. So let's see what that attack is. Let's have the three platters. Mm. 
Before me are three beautiful platters. Razati, <laughs> A, B or C? Well, I'm hoping for an A on this assignment, so we're going to go with A. All right. <laughs> and the surprise attack. Okay. It says, you are the one. Wow. What does that mean? <clears throat> what does it that mean, judges? Nice, Anybody? No <laughs> you are the one? No idea. All right. You are the one means you have to choose only one utensil. And that's the only one you can use huh? on your stove. Whoa. Whoa. It just has to be this one. To, to cook with this one? Yeah, it has to be only this one. I know uh, Chef Eric can do anything. No, she mm. can create magic. La. Well, he has just one stove. La. This surprise attack is, is uh, it's not the worst, but it's one of them that I didn't expect it to be like a one, one walk. It was a lucky break for me because it means I have more time. It's like running for a 100 meter sprint, you know? <laughs> the timer will restart now! Okay, there you go. One walk for everything. One walk to rule them all! <laughs> so, Rasati, what's happening here? We are going to grill some lamb. Ooh, it looks amazing. To be honest, lamb is my favourite meat. So I'm really looking forward to see what Chef Eric and Rasati will do for us. So, Chef Eric, has this surprise attack completely thrown you off? Or... Uh, yeah! <laughs> but who we want? Well, a because lot of... I need to steam, I need to fry, I need to deep fry. The cooking of the uh, breakdown of the rempa, that one I skip because I got no time, so I have to put everything in and cook one shot. Chef Petrina, what do you Great. think Chef Eric has to do now with one ball? Ow. I'll be very stressed if I was in shoes. <laughs> it's like you have to do four different things in, in under 20, 20 minutes. 20, yeah. 20 minutes. I think Chef Eric is very experienced. Mm. Even you take everything off, he still will out something, yeah. No! <laughs> Chef Eric, take everything <laughs> off. No, no. Uh, what's gone into this other pan? The second pan that Razati has. <laughs> wow, so you've got all this equipment. He's only got one walk. What do you think? Uh, Are you I think I'm going to focus. Because I had so many more components on my plate, I had to be very cognizant of what I was doing. One thing after another, I had to keep moving. You're roasting the lemons. Is there a reason? Okay. It's, um, it's going to add to the flavour of the dish at the end. What's going on there, Chef Eric? I'm just uh, marinating the lamb. Okay. Dark soy sauce, uh, salt, pepper, right. sugar, right. a bit of the uh, flour. I think uh, all in all, I already know what I wanted to do through the whole process. It's just that I need to speed up the process. Okay, the potatoes have gone into the wok. Potatoes are oh. fried. Potatoes are oh. fried. Rasati, do you think your lamb is burnt? Oh. I don't think so. Careful because there's, there's the orange juice. Yeah. Chef Eric, what are you going to change because of this one pot left? The potato are not supposed to fry like that. The chilli paste actually is supposed to be separated. Yeah. So now everything has to go in the <laughs> one. One pot. One pot, yeah? Yeah. Okay, Razati, you're starting on a salad right now, are you? Yes. Okay. Is that the blachan? Yeah. Ooh. So I actually reduced the blachan as well. Okay. <laughs> Mel Chef Bob, making rumpa, right? It's a very tedious. It is uh, time consuming. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So there's a lot of man hours to put into one such rumpa. Wow. Yeah. What is that? It's grapes, ah? Yeah. <laughs> she got the uh, tomatillo. Tomatillo, I got a grape pino. <laughs> come, 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 Jose, okay. come. What? Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Actually, it's wine grape. Oh, wine grape? Yeah. No wonder I like no it. Wine. There's no wine. <laughs> no wonder I like it. No, no wine, but no wine. <laughs> okay, wow. This is getting exciting because yeah. the smells are just coming at us in all directions right now. Smell, smell, smell. Oh, okay. Wow. Oh, Zen Y is wow. <laughs> you all judge later? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> The lamb is next to the wok. And that's curry leaf, is it? Yeah. Compliments from uh, Boba oh. and uh, Bala. <laughs> I told them to keep some for me. Thanks, uh, guys. The lamb has gone into the rumpa. And he's stirring it all up with the curry leaves. Water, yeah, water, 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 yeah. Yeah. Why did you say water? To actually loosen up the rumpa ah. and the uh, meat. Wow! Yes, yes chef. Hot. Eight minutes only. Hey, okay, okay, all right. This is what, uh? Uh, milk. Milk. Oh. 
Yeah. And Razati is restarting to plate her lamb. Oh man, where's the mantle? <laughs> okay, the lamb curry has gone into a holding area. Come on, chef. Are those alfalfa? Oh. Yep. Okay, slicing the mantos up. And what are you scooping out now? This is the garnish. The garnish. Wow. Mm. I felt less pressure when I was cooking. I was not as pan. It wasn't as frazzled the as the first round. I felt like I had plenty of time to do everything I needed to do. Come on, Dad! Come on! <laughs> what are you waiting for, man? Get to work. Carrying me. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, Let's go. Uh, less than three minutes. Say plate, say plate, plate, plate. I see the plate, the lamb. Wait, <laughs> lah. I always love a steam mantou with curry. I want to turn it around. I look at the timing. It's no way I can do a steam. I'm wondering what's going to happen to the mantel, whether it'll be... Yeah. It looks like... all right. Light brown at the moment. Yeah. yeah. And Razati is doing yeah. the final yeah. touches yeah. already. One minute, 30 seconds, Chef Eric. Lamb, lamb, yeah. lamb, lamb. On the plate. Well! <laughs> <laughs> You've got one, one minute. minute. <laughs> About one minute. <laughs> Can they do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The mantos on the plate. Lamb's and coming. the kale's going on the manto. And then there goes the lamb curry. <laughs> Rasati is very cool. She's already Woo. done all the tasting. Mm. Nine, eight, 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 uh, because uh, Rasati's uh, lamb is also very tasty and the cut is different. I'm never confident because I have three different palettes up there. We have two chefs and a food blog. I have no idea. You sure the, the judges love the two? I like my dish. You know, having been buffeted by all those smells and I kind of tasted a little bit of the sauces from Rasati and the meat as well. So I'm going to let the judges do the talking right now. Over to you, judges. Rasati, uh, Chef Eric's recipe is based on his mother. So how about your recipe? My recipe is a fusion recipe from LA, actually. So the idea is it's a lettuce wrap. <laughs> it's a kaibi marinade with salsa verde, and then you have a slaw with a kogi vinaigrette on top. I have three ways of eating this lamb. So I eat it on its own, okay. or with the wrap, and with the squeeze of the lemon. And I like the third way the best because, because you get a bit of sweetness, the citrusy lemon, okay. and all the flavours coming together. Okay. But if I eat the lamb on its own, mm -hmm. I wish the flavours of the lamb itself could be more pronounced. Okay. Yeah. Mm. For me, the lamb has a very nice bite to it. Okay. It's, it's cooked almost uh, perfectly. You know, you enhance the flavour. It's a job well done. Thank you. I'm actually very impressed at the lamb because just watching you, I thought the lamb would be a little bit burnt. Yeah. Um, but then just cutting it, I can bite it. It's I not like tough, yeah. and, and it's also pink inside. So that's quite hard to do. And I like this salad. This works really well with the lamb. Well done, Rasati. All right, it's now up to our judges to taste Chef Eric's Hainanese lamb curry in the fried mantel. And with the wine grapes, do you yeah. have a method to eat all? Oh uh, yes, uh, basically because uh, judges uh, just tasted the uh, sati's uh, lamb, so I would like to have the wine grape uh, just to cleanse the palate. After that, then you eat the lamb. The rumpa reminds me of my own grandma's yeah. cooking. The lamb, deep in flavours, succulent, so soft. I do not know how you do it. Mm -hmm. Cooking tender lamb in under 25 minutes. Mm. Yeah. I was panicking about the mantou, right? <laughs> and I was like, oh, I thought the mantou's not even oily. The lamb is so tender. And this is something quite unique. I've never had this style of curry. Everything works very well together. Mm. And I like the final touch of the kefir lime. The mantou is so crispy and not oily. It actually heightens the flavour of the whole dish. And the lamb, amazing. Super tender. Wow. Super tender. Thank you. Okay, now it's time for our judges to go into a little small room, taste some more, discuss some more, and we'll come back to see whether they will award Rasati any knives or all three knives. Well, right now, it's crunch time for Razati. Will her lamb dish be elevated or will she be lambasted? Chef Patrina, you have witnessed the cook-off. 
So will you or will you not award the knife to Razat? I will not. Oh, okay. Why not? Actually, I really enjoyed both. Rasati brought me back to um, LA. You know, the sauces, um, definitely California feel. I like the flavours a lot, but the lamb was a bit chunky. So it's quite hard to eat it as a wrap in one bite. If you just, you know, just cut it a little bit smaller, I think it'd be easier to eat. Okay. All right. I will cross over to Daniel. This is so tough. <laughs> not but, the lamb, right? But the lamb is soft. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so will you or will you not award the knife to Razan? No, I will not. Oh, all right. Mm. I love your lamb. I mean, a lot of people do not like to eat lamb because they feel that lambs are gamey, mm. tough, to be dry. But you showed us that a lamb wrap can be refreshing, delicious and flavorful at the same time. At the end of the day, I'm looking at the flavors and the texture of the lamb. I, okay. and I think overall, uh, Chef Eric's lamb dish was oh. softer, more tender and more flavorful. Yeah. Okay. All right, thank you. Well, that leaves one knife. So, Chef Heikel, will you or will you not award the knife to Rasati? I'm afraid I will. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the only thing that actually impresses me, right, was uh, the way you cut the lamb chunky. You marinate them with uh, kiwi, all that stuff. It still retains the flavour of the lamb. Nice crust, which I thought it was burnt. But actually, <laughs> it actually created a very nice crust. And inside was still pink and soft. That's why you won over the master today. Wow, congratulations, Razati. High praise from Chef Heikel. And speaking of high, I am going to put this high up here. You have one knife in your second cook-off, Razati. Thank you. I well, appreciate that. all in total, you have two knives in the two cook-offs. You are still in the running. Unfortunately, you did not win this round of cook-offs, so you don't get the $3,000. But you've got one knife, all right? It was a tough fight. I'm very happy. I'm very satisfied. Uh, at least Razati won one knife. Honestly, I was hoping for three. And minimum two, I was hoping to win the round at least. Right now, the strategy is to wait. Wow. These cook-offs are not for the faint-hearted. We've just ended the first round of cook-offs for Razati and unfortunately, she did not win that round even though she got one knife awarded to her by Chef Eichel. Right now, I think it's time to bring on your next opponent. Yes! Zakia, come on down! Hello, Zakia. When you saw what happened earlier with Razati, what was going through your mind? Uh, definitely, it was uh, like very high pressure, but I'm amazed by Chef Eric. To me, it was mind blowing that he <laughs> could make it in 30 minutes with one stove. Right? Yeah. Right. Okay. And I'm impressed. <laughs> well, you've got your own surprise attack for him later, so we don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> take, but take all the stove. <laughs> take all. <laughs> Use only oven. <laughs> Wow, that could happen. Uh, no, don't never, die, never. Don't, <laughs> don't, uh, you don't say, uh, you give people ideas. Yeah, uh, man. No, give him the rice cooker only. Only the rice cooker. Finish. Come on. Zakia, be kind. <laughs> Just like every cook off, okay, we don't know what your main ingredient will be. Perhaps you want to tell us what the main ingredient is for your cook off. My uh, main key ingredient is. Bone. Huh? Bone. <laughs> what? Bone. 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 What? Uh? Oh. What bone, bone is that? What wow. bone? Uh? What, what type of... Uh, Where did it come lamb. from? Lamb. Oh, oh lamb again. Uh. Wow, this poor lamb. Wow. Shoulder kena, now the bone marrow is kena. It's really a surprise uh, protein. I think if I were to share with my two brothers over at uh, Sambata, I mean, they would say, Huh? What? 
นี่นะเต้ากูอะแล้วอัพเตอร์เดอะสปอร์ตแอตเตอร์คัมเมอร์กินวานยูวานมีตัววาน Good choice. Ah. Oh no. Good choice for you. Not for you. Not for me. Okay. Not well, me. you're gonna have you. some time to think about whether the man, well, the bone marrow can work for you. Chef Eric Teo, it's time for you to go and grab the lamb and All take right. the bone marrow. All right. Sure. Why not? Oh. Oh, they're very smart, huh? How come they all give me all this kind of uh, protein? <laughs> you guys get the best stuff. Chef, I get flour. No, I l o n Anyway, I'm gonna make a profile. So, chef, yours is going to be white in color. Yeah, put some crab, some clams, some beans. I will try to put some wolf berries. Okay, I'm gonna use some dry sole. When these two comes together, the smell will go away. Stop putting that. I only got 30 minutes. You put so many ingredients, I cannot cope. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. yeah, this is really like yeah, good luck, a, man. <laughs> really, yeah. made a false B B V, man. Oh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>《ไม่ได้มีเสียงในแอร์ไรท์นะครับเพราะนี่คือการแข่งขันสุดท้ายของซาเกียและเชฟเอริกนะครับซาเกียคุณต้องการจะต้องเอาหัวข้อโอเคไปที่ไฟฟ้าไฟฟ้าคุณจะทำความสุขให้ดีที่สุดและคุณได้เลือกสุนัขเมล์ดังนั้นเราจะดูว่าคุณสามารถล้างเมล์ดับเชฟเอริกเมื่อไหร่โอเคคุณพร้อมไหมโอเคนี่คือเวลาคุณเริ่มต้น Now here we go. Yeah. Zakia is going for the bone marrow as a main ingredient. So I'm going to ask Chef Bob. Yes. Did you help her out with anything? The, any any hints? I uh, just uh, tell her to just concentrate on the main ingredient itself, with the flavor and the taste, and hopefully. Mm. It can be tender within the stipulated time. Yeah, 40 yeah. minutes, h uh. It's a tall order. I specifically choose this bone marrow because uh, I feel like even within 14 minutes, if it's uh, if mine wasn't much tender, I think in 30 minutes his will be worse. So that's my strategy. All right. So in your opinion, Chef Bala, 30 minutes for Chef Eric. To do this lamb bone marrow dish, possible? It's possible when yeah. Chef uh, Eric Teo is there, mm -hmm. because we saw earlier, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> 20 o minutes lamb perfectly cooked. Yeah. So I think he will do it again this time. Yeah. Right? Okay, yeah, this time it's different. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll look forward to that. Yep. I'm going to have a look at what's happening over here. What's happening, Zakia? Basically, going to pressure cook the lamb. Pressure cook the yeah. lamb. Okay. Do you use pineapple normally in, in this? It, it helps to tenderize. Because it contains bromelain. Bromelain. Wow. Bromlin. Okay. I think I, I realize uh, what is a lamb's favorite singer, <laughs> Chef Eric. <laughs> you got so much. Of I got I got nonsense. Lamb favorite singer, uh, Lady Baba. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that, <laughs> Chef Heiko. Do you use bone marrow in your restaurant? Yes, we do. We extract the marrow, we melt it, and then we smoke it. Oh wow! And we make it with the mayonnaise. And oh. normally we serve it with a good beef, like a beef tartar, oh. know, with the bone marrow mayonnaise. Wow! Yeah. Okay. So it's a lot of flavor. I'm sure. Yeah, lovely. It's very rich as well. <laughs> very. One fun fact to share is Soup Tulang Mera is invented right here in Singapore in the 1950s. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this is our national pride. So I'm very curious whether Zakia is really going to prepare this dish. Some kind like that. Some kind like, like that. With a twist, maybe. Mm. The only difference is uh, I'm not using color. And I think my taste is more authentic. Okay, oh. that's right. No coloring included. Chef Petrina, you excited to try that, right? How? Yes, I am. Actually, I haven't had a good uh, soup tulang in a long time, so I'm looking forward. It's all right, we've got less than 20 seconds. Chef Eric, stand by. We're going to invite you down in just a while. Chef Bala, do you cook with bone marrow as well? Uh, yes, I do. We actually put the bone marrow into the gravy at mm. the base to give uh, the flavors. Mm. Here we go. Nine, eight. Seven, Final six, one. five, ole, ole, ole. four. Come on down, Chef Eric t e o And he's off.
All right. The pressure cooker is, seems to be working. Chef Eric, what are you doing right now to the tulang? Am I taking out the uh, meat? Mm -hmm. Yeah, from the bone, which we'll be using later. Yeah. It smells amazing, Zakia. And Chef Eric is starting his pressure cooker with some broth. Yep. Now, the smells are beginning to happen right now uh, with Zakia's dish. Is it bay leaf? Yeah. Mm. The clock is ticking down, and we are wondering whether um, we're going to hear some music from the bell. All right, please uh, stop whatever you're doing at the moment. Okay, the surprise attack has happened. Thank you. We are going to have our three platters brought out for the surprise attack. And before us are the three platters A, B and C for the surprise attack. All right, A, B, C, which one would you like? Uh, I will go with C. All right, let's see what is in this surprise attack. All right, I'm going to take it out and we're going to see whether you are going to lambush him. All right, here we go. <laughs> it says, when I'm feeling blue. Want to guess? Don't tell me you want to make a blue pea soup. <laughs> blue pea soup. <laughs> Imagine the, the soup to lung is blue. I don't know. <laughs> We will bring out this particular ingredient right now and we will reveal it to Chef Eric what this is all about. Let us reveal what this ingredient is that you have to use in your cooking. And it is Gorgonzola blue cheese. Oh. All right. On that note, we're going to keep Alamak. going. <laughs> what I'm going to do with this? When Mike got extra, we will have this for supper. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here we go. Your time will restart now. Ooh. Here we go. And what's going to happen with the blue cheese? Well, it's all we're going to find out. Wow. Very exciting. Very exciting. Chess, what are you thinking? I have no idea, man. I'm just thinking how can Zakia get the bone be tenderized within 40 minutes, man? You know, 26 minutes. Mm. Because when I do it, so at home, it takes at least one and a half hour to two hours. Wow! Yeah. And it takes, I uh, cook it inside the pressure cooker. Okay. Chef Bala, what are your thoughts about the blue cheese? Chef can handle it because there's milk there. So I think it will go very well with the broth. I hear grating going on. 25 minutes. Carrot Yeah. Okay. So what is that for? I just for a second. Oh, tight. Okay. Are those uh, leeks? Uh, yeah. Oh. I think leeks are quite underrated, right? I mean, I remember eating the, a whole leek and how they, they blanched it with sauce on it. Is it seasonal? No, right? No. The time now, you have um, 23 minutes. Here we go. Flower crabs being chopped up and it's going into the huge pot. And the clams are going in as well. They're all working at top speed right now because bone marrow, not an easy thing to cook in such a short space of time. Is this a normal stock? Uh, it's normal when it's a crab, clam and chicken bones. Uh -huh. But it's not normal with rice sauce. Oh, something's like burning. Is something burning? Oh. Yeah, I got minya, minya. I think add oil into it so it's not so. We have 20 minutes left, ladies and gentlemen. 20 minutes left. And the blue cheese is being manhandled right now. Wow, lucky guy. Take out the plastic, man. Yeah. I thought I'm going to throw the whole thing inside. The plastic. <laughs> yeah, good thing you checked as well. Yeah, I want to try and yeah. eat. I said, how come this blue cheese is like that? <laughs> I mean, the wrap is so clear. I feel you can't really see. Yeah, but you wouldn't have thrown the whole thing in anyway. No. It's a whole oh, lot. No. I just want to taste the blue cheese. Yeah. Is that vinegar, Zakia? You add yeah. a vinegar? So it's like a pickle that you're making? Yeah. Okay. Now she's adding in some fine apple. Is it an acha? Uh, yeah, it's something like Something like an acha. I realise in this competition, all our <laughs> finalists, every time we ask them a question, it's something like that. So the secrets are not revealed. Yeah, it's all very vague. Yeah, <laughs> all very vague. Is that milk? Yeah. Wow. The only way to remove the smell from the, the lamb bone marrow is to cook a, a milky broth. And inside, we have lots of ingredients like the seafood, uh, dry soul beans and uh, some vegetables. 
some leaked celery even raw poa to go with it. And yeah, I think that will work for the bone marrow because bone marrow is pretty strong. Either you go strong or you try to just enjoy the bone marrow and then uh, with some soup. Yeah, I would like to remind everyone that the main ingredient is indeed bone marrow. So how are we going to bring out the bone marrow? 17 minutes. All right. You heard that, 17 minutes. Was that just water and stock? Uh, stock. Oh, stock. And a bit of butter. Now it got me wondering where the blue cheese will be added in. The pressure is mounting because the time is ticking down. Zakia is putting in the minced mutton into the sauce. And over here, we're putting in the meat from the bone marrow. All right, what did you just put in, Chef? Uh, just pass me. Pass it. No. 15 minutes. Hey, the cauliflower is purple. Yep. Why can't you use normal cauliflower? A uh, colour. Flavour, I think, a, a little bit different as well. Oh, is it? Yeah. Wow. Zakia's baguettes are being cut right now and sliced. Pass. Wow, what a face like that. <laughs> What's that face about? Ah, he looks happy. Alright, we got under 11 minutes now. He's very pleased with himself. There's a smile down there. Now all of us want to save the soap. Oh, the baguette is being buttered. Nothing like fresh baguette in the morning. Eh, chili powder. Is it chili powder? Yeah. On the baguette. Wow. Oh. So a little bit of blue cheese went into that bowl. I think it's a test to see whether it should work. Zaki has put the bread and baguette on the pan to toast it. And... <laughs> Conclusion? Order. Huh? <laughs> plenty, plenty. In goes the purple cauliflower. Some lime juice being squeezed into the pickle salad. What did you put in? Tofu. Uh? Tofu. Oh. All right, about seven minutes. I say, okay. I don't know what Turn on the running water. Leave it there first, eh? Yeah. Put in something else, ah. Uh. What is it, ah? Uh? Oh, open, uh? Yeah, okay, good. Check with. You reckon it's done, Zakia? Water will go on. Our tea got some. Not. Okay, there it goes. It goes into the sauce that she has made. I can hear the thuds on the table already from the judges getting the tulang out. The Daniel, how? Yeah, six minutes. Yep. Six minutes. One word that comes to mind, collagen. Also cholesterol. <laughs> <laughs> collagen more important. <laughs> we still haven't kind of figured out what's happening with the blue cheese. Okay. Okay. The time right now, we have five minutes oh, and five minutes, 20 five seconds. Minutes. Five minutes. All right. I think uh, Zakia is beginning to start her plating process. Chef Eric adding more flavour to his broth. I think Chef Eric seems quite uh, satisfied with his broth. Ah, wow. And all that strained. Four minutes, ladies and gentlemen. Four minutes left. Wow, that is like liquid gold, man. Zakia is already plating her pickle. And out comes the bone marrow for Chef Eric. Three minutes, Chef Eric. All right, three Whoa. minutes, It's guys. coming again, three it's minutes. coming again. Yes, yes, yes. But this time you got three stoves. <laughs> <laughs> ah, wow. Okay. The extraction of the marrow. Wow, there goes the blue cheese. Two minutes. <laughs> All right, Zach here. Alright. Okay. The difference in both like worlds apart, yet how? Oh. Alright. Okay. Oh, there goes the purple cauliflower. I think it's time to do our final touches. Already under one minute. Make sure that everything is on your plate. Okay, oh my goodness, half a minute, 30 seconds left. It's time to kind of complete what you are doing because we have to get this off the judges' table. 20 seconds. Standing by. Last touches. Eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and step away from 
your stones. Turn them off. I am confident, uh, but again, it's up to the judge. But uh, I'm I'm happy. Like even though even if I don't make it, I'm happy that I'm already here. Yes, it's a smooth sailing, uh, uh, 30 minutes, but it's not enough for me. So I've did my best, and uh, the rest is up to the judges. And I hope that uh, Zakia have put up a good show, uh, a really good one there, so she can win the three knives. Bone marrow versus bone marrow is going to be stiff competition, and our judges are going to have to dig deep in order to find out whether they will award any knives or all three knives to Zakia. I think we'll start with Chef Eric's dish. Chef Eric's first. Okay, Chef Eric, is there a way, a method of eating this or just mix and eat? Pour the hot soup into your bowl and just enjoy the dish. The broth, wow. So many things went into it. Would the blue cheese complement or overpower the broth? I think the blue cheese was handled very well. So I think it melded in really well. The broth is tasty by complemented the bone marrow. Yeah, if I look at the bone marrow itself, very delicious, buttery, slippery, smooth. The soup, I like that there's a bit of that uh, cauliflower that helps cut the, the richness. Uh -huh. Yeah, I wish there was more of that. Ah. Yeah. What's the best thing is the bone marrow. Yeah. It's so sweet. Mm. Mm. And then the blue cheese complements the rest of the dish. It's a touch of a, like I said before, master. Yeah. All right, touch of a master. All right, on that note, we are going to try Zakia's soup tulak. My grandfather used to make this. He had a catering business. Oh. It's something that uh, we grew up eating. I see. And I learned it from them. The marrow is actually very well cooked. As mm. I take the marrow, then I munch into the minced lamb, it actually gives that texture and it's definitely very flavorful. Mm. And the pickle cuts through everything. So, wow. yeah, delicious. Okay. I like it very much because it's not sweet and the marrow gives the sweetness to the spices, which is, I think, it's very well uh, complemented. Mm. Thank you. Look mm. at the, just the bone marrow itself. Again, buttery and smooth, flavorful. Um, th there's a lot of kick in the mutton itself. And uh, I wish there was a straw for me to suck all this up. Yeah. <laughs> well, don't worry, Daniel, because we are going to give you a straw and we're going to go and think about what we're going to say later, whether we will award any knives to Zakia or we're going to give all three knives or two knives. We don't know. So we'll find out in just a while. Well, now it's time for our judges to decide whether Zakia will win any knives or not because Zakia needs all three knives in order to proceed on to the Grand Finals. Chef Petrina, will you or will you not award the knife to Zakia? Sorry, I will not. Ah, why not? Both bone marrows, I actually enjoyed it a lot. Um, both integrities were actually kept and it really shines. But I think Chef Eric dish, the layer of flavours just came together really well and I thought the blue cheese really helped. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Chef, on that. All right, let's see. Daniel, let's okay. go for it. Will you or will you not award this knife to Zakia? Yes, I will. <gasps> Yay! I am going to put this up there. <laughs> One knife. Zaki, I'm glad that you chose to uh, use your grandfather's recipe because you really did him proud with the dish you presented. Have confidence in yourself because the confidence will show in your cooking. Thank you. Okay. All right, Zakia. If you win this next knife from Chef, Michael, you will tie with Razati. Should that happen, Chef Heikel, will you or will you not award the final knife to Zakia? I will not. Oh, I think uh, today, Chef Eric. The way he brings out the flavour of the bone marrow was really to another level. With all the umaminas and end of the day, the bone marrow really shine. 
it's almost 10 out of 10 for me. Wow. <laughs> I'm happy with the result. And actually also no, because I felt that uh, Zakia has done a fantastic job over there uh, using her grandpa's recipe. Honestly, I did not expect. But uh, it was also partly the taste was a bit out with the time and all. Probably something went wrong that I did not notice. What an intense three weeks of competition. And at the end of these final cook-offs, here is the score. Zakia has one knife, Razati two, and Hui has six knives. Razati and Hui will go on to the grand finals. Right now, may I invite our two grand finalists to join me here. Razati and Hui, come on down. All right. So this is where you will be next week. I'm all excited for next week right now because one of these ladies would walk away with $10,000 as well as the king of culinary, the final showdown, grand champion knife. So on that note, we'll see you next week. See ya! <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. That's I think it's dessert, yes. <laughs> With her, you wouldn't know. <laughs> this is the appetizer. She's plating too early because it'll get dry. Ah. The meat, the roe. You're making bread, ah? Yes. Oh my gosh. She always keeps us guessing. La. Yes, are you okay? You look lost. Yeah, I cannot find the thing where I put. This huh? is flour. Oh, what flour is that? Later, I see the channel give you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Will be the grand champion of King of Culinary, the final showdown. <laughs>